The 2017 3301 is one of the longest and complex puzzles to date. I bring you everything that has happened from March 14th until now. Watch my part one of Unsolving Cicada 3301 2017 to see what has happened so far. Okay, here we go. March 14th, 2017 marks Pi Day. Cicada has been known to use Pi often and have even been linked to Moby Pi, another cryptic series of puzzles. We will get to Moby Pi later. The webpage of www.711317192329.com has changed to a new timer that ends June 1st. It reads, a circumference sheds on Pi with a series of numbers. There's music with reverse speech in the background and timers. Let's run down all of these and find their meaning. Let's start with the timer ending on June 1st. Dante of Dante's Inferno's birthday is June 1st. He travels through the nine circles of hell, limbo, lust, gluttony, greed, wrath, heresy, violence, fraud, and treachery. June 1st may be the entrance of the human race to the Inferno. 3301 also equals seven. Now the clocks. Defango and a group of solvers were able to quickly decipher it. It reads, remember the future. Now to the text, circumference shed on pi, with a series of numbers, which will reveal that we have been given a false history. The music is amazing in the way it is orchestrated. Everything plays out three times. First, let's start with the reverse speech. Slowing down many audio files, we get some messages. Uh, begins. For some, it continues. In the desert, secrets dwell. In the desert, something whispers. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and billows of snow. The sun will be turned to darkness, and the moon to... Ursa Major will bite the triumphant hand that feeds it, while the sloth of May decays in the garden of Europa. A lion will open the gates of hell by two serpents and ancient wraths as the shadows of humanity explodes into an apocalyptic spring. Ursa Major is a star pattern in the northern celestial hemisphere, known as the Great Bear. This Great Bear can resemble Russia as they are known for their bears. The triumphant hand can possibly resemble Donald Trump, as America is the greatest nation of the planet. 
The sloth of May in Europa can have something to do with Europe. A lion will open the gates of hell can be referring to the great powers of the world, such as the global governments. The raging serpents and ancient wraths are most likely the citizens of the world, all destroying the world by rioting and turning against each other. Another theory came up with the message had something to do with the seven deadly sins. Ursa Major, which is known as the Great Bear, resembles gluttony because it eats the triumphant hand. The sloth of May resembles sloth. It is so lazy it ends up decaying in the garden of Europa. The raging serpents resemble envy. Lions usually resemble pride. The lion usually has an excessive belief in their own abilities to rule the jungle. The ancient wraths resemble the obvious, wrath. The last two of the deadly sins, lust and greed. Lust and greed most likely resemble the people of Earth. In 2014, Cicada had mentioned they had multiple projects planned for the future. It is believed Moby Pie being one of them. Their puzzles are extremely similar to Cicada, but instead of looking for recruitments, they are predicting future events and are very accurate at doing so. The message was, hello, those who would destroy our lives with lies will themselves be destroyed by the truth, 3301. The series of clues led to the message that our coordinates to an abandoned village in Lorraine, France called Beaumont and Verdonis. The St. Marie's Chapel was named after the soldier who carried the Spear of Destiny, also known as the Holy Lance. According to the Gospel of John, it is the lance that pierced the side of Jesus as he hung on the cross. Beaumont was abandoned in 1916 after it was destroyed. In 2016, the spear showed up there. Longagus was a century man. The spear was found one century after the village was abandoned. Seeing that the abandoned village needed to be searched, the Salver community found a man close enough to go and search. Six days later, the man appeared to have found a spear. It looked to be very old and was deemed to be a hasta, a thrusting spear used by Longinus that speared the side of Jesus. After the spear was found, the man just disappeared. His whereabouts in the spear are unknown. Moby Pie was able to accurately predict tyranny in Turkey, mayhem in France, and corruption long before anything took place. I believe Moby Pie could be going back to Cicada 3301. The amount of popularity with Cicada will deliver a larger message. When calling the Mojave phone booth, I get, the flood has begun. The desert has secrets to reveal. When looking back at the very first box released in January, you can take the capital letters, they spell out war, CIA, MSM, mainstream media, and FACC, or possibly the CCAF, an observatory in Italy that charts the star. They discover asteroids. If we go back to the site, solvers were able to find more clocks coming. This looks like a plain clock cipher at first, but after trying a few times, nothing came up. But if we look at the past clue of the skull image, there is an added element to the picture that is not there. This is the clocks on the main image, not the site. The top left image is the added circle, a diagram by Flood from the Liber Primus. It looks very similar to a clock cipher. I used that instead of a clock and plotted the 10 clocks over it. This could give you a string of characters, either numbers or letters, and what struck me as odd was that the lengths of the hands of the clocks were not the same. It is often hard to tell which one would be the hour hand. I overlaid all the clocks to see if there was patterns in the lengths, which gives you five concentric levels and a very interesting layout of the circles. Now we have ten times, and that will give us a string of letters and numbers. It is a tough case, because some land close to the lines between the radial columns, but I think there's something there. I have not worked out the final string of characters yet, but that's the next step. And just to clarify, I'm using the 10 clocks from the recent image. Side note, the center of the clocks nor the sides are aligned. It could possibly be an extra hidden clock position. The same is true with the website clocks, they are not aligned. The websites change to a 7 exposed. There are three images that you are able to download, the key, text, and pointers. After downloading the audio file named 3301.wave, you get Momus hisses and wails, providing shelter for the dark star and his companions, Lida and the merchant of wine, beware false paths, birds of stealth, 
Armor cloaked, now glint in the burning sun. Seek solace not in the words of the priest, but of the oracle. Chart the stars. Liber Primus is the way. Its numbers are the direction. Good luck. Momus is known in Greek mythology as the personification of satire and mockery. There are also images embedded. A head of Marcus Aurelius, a guy pointing to a musical staff. Calling the Mojave payphone on 314 revealed Morse code that led to an onion site. The onion site had led to a picture of a serpent tempting Eve with an apple. A number of emails from Cicada was sent to select email addresses. Here's the first email. Await Liber Secundus, beware false paths. Doing a search of Liber Secundus, we come up with this very interesting video. Attached to the first email is also a WAV file called 22.wave. A spectrogram of the audio file reveals, remember the future. The second email states, what appears to be chicory is actually real coffee. Our encryption fingerprint has changed, school's out. Chicory was once used in coffee as a substitute. It tasted like real coffee, but you would never know the difference between the two. Our encryption fingerprint has changed, referring to PGP signature is no longer being used. Schools Out refers to Cicada.org website being down at the time of this email. The third email. 43 plus 1. Sevens arrive, consult three times. 7 plus 1 for the key, but remember the journey is not over then. Spread your wings. Be the timbal. It leads to an image from the game Clue. It also came with a WAV file. Opening this audio in a spectrogram shows it looks like a barcode or binary if you look at it in a grid. The tough part is the bottom seems to be washed out. The fourth email comes in. Beware armor cloaked. Await liber secondus. And then a final email comes in. Hello Pilgrims, my name is Z. I am a winner from 2012. Thank you all for the correspondence. This will be the last email, scheduled for March 23rd. 23rd equals V. These emails are clues for the entirety of the puzzles you've seen thus far. Though, nothing new was added. The Dark Star will be released today. The sonic screwdriver opens all doors. Beware false paths. Leave behind old methods. Glorify yourself in the progression. This email is now unmonitored. Good luck, 3301. Congratulations. There's a math problem with the plug board, and every enigma needs an enigma. Go forth and multiply. <laughs> Opening the audio in a spectrogram reveals a heavenward pupil, ye hopely. Ye is second person. Pupil is the stage of an insect transforming. Heavenward would to be directed towards the heaven. 3301 is telling us to deliver the message that they have provided. Z also posted a picture to 4chan. A few days later, another email came in. The Feast of Assumption arrives. Time to go spelunking. Don't forget to bring a shovel. Find the cave in the desert and return the spear. Then finish the puzzle. Consult Liber Secundus. 22 is the key. Z. Another solver group was able to find a link to Vault 7. Prior to Vault 7 password release, they had been trying brute force codes on the Mojave. Eventually, they got a code by calling 1963 in order and got the code. The solver group figured out it was a Caesar cipher that translated to splinter into a thousand pieces and scatter it into the winds. We got this two weeks before Julian Assange revealed the Vault 7 password, which was the same. A new video was added to the site. I am the one who found the spear. I took it from Vermont and then Paris.
and then my country. I had it looked at by experts. I have ones now, but it's old, very old. The iron is from the time of romance, and the part here, it's to fix where it broke off. The boot is 800 years old. I now take it to the Mojave Desert so others may find it and complete the pilgrimage. It has powers and fills me with dreams. It has the power to free the people. I cannot explain English, but it will change the world. Look for it in the desert. You will understand. There is a letter with a lens. It explains everything. Goodbye and God bless all my friends and family. In the video description it says, the spear has been placed. The video of the spear seems to look dated with older equipment. The audio voiceover is of very high quality. In the YouTube channel's about page it reads, the flood of blood gas, which translates to a flood of blood down an alley. There is another code that says, is it making sense? Looking at the video, Z comments on many of the questions. On the YouTube video, Z had commented on why there is no longer PGP. I realized this is a concern with many solvers. I should clear this up. The Cicada member who had control of the key and wrote Liber Primus is now deceased. We have not gone back to PGP since then because the old key is still around and we aren't sure who has it at the moment. The images on the channel refer to the Pisgah crater. This all points to the lava tubes of the Mojave Desert, where the spear is buried. Solvers, including Defango, drove all night to the desert after Z's video. While searching for the spear, Defango climbed down into the SPG cave in the Pisgah crater. He found a dug hole, leading to the fact that the spear had been found. Looking back at 7.exposed, there are multiple wave files. The flood approaches.wave, laden with consumption.wave, a message.zip, 32617is667.wave, and a little help.pdf. Laden with consumption reads, the purpose is not to spread a plague, but to deliver fire. 32617 is 667 is a password. A message.zip contains three files. Opening a message of hope.wave in a notepad reveals a star chart. A little help.pdf says, Hello class, today we go over what we've learned. These are simply the methodologies, nothing more, nothing less. I heard a lot of people think I'm an alien, Satan, AI, or own a quantum computer. None of that is true. I do all the mathematics longhand. It allows a deeper connection with the numbers. Let's start with the Alberta Enigma. This is the cipher disk. This is our plain text, and this is our cipher text. It is simply signed by Z. The site has changed. Two new pictures are uploaded. The first is called Leak Second Disc, and the other picture is called Avant Guard. The second disc has 19 pointers, with one pointer being in a light blue. The Avant Guard are people or works that are experimental, radical, or unorthodox with respect to art, culture, and society. The painting is from Albrecht Durer and is called Heavenly Body in the Night Sky. Durer is a mathematician and has used geometry in his art, such as the rhombohedron, also known as the Durer Solid, as well as the Magic Square. He also has deep ties to Nuremberg. What is also very interesting about the painting is it can be overlaid onto the second disc. Now. The spear brings us to how it was taken. The legend of blood glass goes back to the beginning of the 14th century. The Knights Templar, whose influence, wealth, and tax-free status had become a thorn in the side of the royals indebted to them and were under attack. King Philip of France had been pressuring the church to take action against the Templars. 
On Friday the 13th of October, 1307, he finally made a move against the group, arresting and torturing Templars in France. Then, Johann Alois Joseph Vaughan is tasked with bringing the Holy Spear from revolution-torn Paris to Nuremberg. Instead, he takes it to Vienna and sells it to the ruling Habsburgs, the deep state of the Holy Roman Empire at the time. The spear von Hugel sold ended up being tested by archaeologist Robert Feather in 2003 and found the spear was from 7th century AD. So what happened to the actual spear? Reason concludes von Hugel had it with him and it was in Vienna. Now Z hints that the spear was actually hidden below Blood Alley. Since 1805 or so, Templars were legendary for hiding treasure and building elaborate tunnel systems. They were also master cryptographers, alchemists, scholars, military strategists, and held loyal and protected pilgrims. Templars created the banking system in Europe. They had reputations for being fair, godly, military men, so-called warrior monks. Kings and elites borrowed from them, and when it was time to pay up, King Philip IV conspired with the Vatican to crush the Templars and the deep state you see today is a result of Friday, October 13, 1307. Might Cicada be Templars about to rise up against the deep state that has strangled mankind for seven centuries? What if the Templars are back? Vault 7 would be exactly what the Templars would do for revenge, expose the deep state that burned and persecuted them. There is much more to be solved. If you have any findings, please list it below in the comments. I believe Cicada 3301 has the best interest at heart for the world and the people. Keep your mind open and look at things in a different perspective. I also want to tell other solvers to be aware of evil and other malicious activity. This is often cloaked in Discord chat rooms and forums with the goal of leading to a false path. Good luck to everyone continuing in the pilgrimage.